here we are back in the field. It's March 2015 and we're going to do a resistivity survey. No we're not, we're going to do a magnetometry survey. Oh look, there's Mark. This is a field, big field, blue line there, that's, that's the rope and we're starting to mark out the field so that when we get here uh, in a few weeks time we know exactly where we're going to do the survey between the posts and we'll save a lot of time on the day. We brought all the gear with us, stakes, Compass, posts, car to get make a quick getaway. East West is out. East West is out. How can East yeah, West? East West is now showing. No, it won't be East West. East West. Uh, yeah, that is East West. We're. we're uh, so what was this one? Uh, th this is the cross, the crosshair. Basically, it runs to that post over there, uh, and so we know that this is perfectly square. Um, so that when we start we will mark out a perfect square which is north, south, east, west. Right here we are, a bit later we managed to get some posts in. And as you can see, impossible to see on the monitor, down where Mark is. And there's three long lines that run down this field that we can see on the um, LiDAR. Um, but they're sort of slight mounds and they run across the field, three, three of them, and that's the reason we're going to be uh, doing the, the magnetometry survey. You know, we haven't done a magnetometry survey before, so uh, there's quite a lot to learn. Laying out the posts, running wires between the posts, then you move the wires across as the guy walks backwards and forwards with the, uh, the magnets. Basically it's a glorified magnet measuring the, um, the, the ground, re the, uh, the, mag the magnetism that's coming off of the ground. So if things are moved in the past you'll be able to see it on a survey. Uh, the important issue is to get, is to get the square, squares square. Um, so you use two, three lengths of rope, all exactly measured, um, and put the posts in at the right place. Now we've done that on this site, we're now going to move to the second site, um, where, uh, which is uh, part of um, Sue's um, land, and uh, it's right next to the Malfoss, um, which is over there. And um, over the Easter weekend we're going to um, have a look, see if we can see what's, what's under the ground as opposed to what's on top of the ground. And if I drop down a little, you might be able to see the... the um, you can see that the grass is greener along the middle section, which is the deeper ground. Um, so is this just a track? It might be just a track, but it might be something else. Um, uh, they had 8,000 bodies to get rid of uh, when this battle took place. And this is dead centre of the battlefield. Expert, Hello, in, uh, expert in all things. Nick one, pole one. <laughs> the biggest knitting needles I've ever had. Oh, but I think they uh, they suit you somewhat. I thought they were. Okay, we've moved down to the valley floor here, and we're on the side of the wood here. And there's this really interesting area that we want to do a survey, and it's probably one of the most difficult places to do because uh, there's a wire fence running through here, which is going to cause difficulty. Um, and it's very close to a very big power line, um, which means that it may be produce a negative response. But if you look carefully, you can see that uh, there's some fairly substantial mounds here in the background. Um, I don't know if you can see on here. It's really, really difficult in, in the... Um, have a look up the back there. You can see that these mounds run through here. There's a number of them. In fact, there's 13 of them uh, that run right next to this big power line. And uh, you think, well, it must be something to do with the uh, 
the work that was done here in the past. But uh, I'm not so sure, we have to check it. Um, you have a look down here, you can see up there a dip down there, rises up, down, loads of them all along here. And so we're going to do a survey through here to try and get at least one one magnetic sweep to see if there's anything up in this spot um, which runs up into the wood. Just as you'd have any reason to be here, so we'll give it a try. Let's see if we can have a look. Careful. Looks like we've got a much better view up here. Yeah, you can see, can you see them? These quite substantial substantial mounds running right the way through here. Is there enough room to get a magnetometer through here? This is the question. It's one of those things we'll tackle on the day. I just want to get a sweep just once or maybe twice up and down just to see what's here. And we're going to need your help or somebody. I've got a few people who've volunteered. This might be the big one. This could is this is this a Norman grave right next to the battlefield? Right next to the battlefield at the bottom of the hill. A hill where they said they buried them in the bosom of the earth. Is this the bosom of the earth? I wonder. I wonder whether we'll find it on on Easter. Wouldn't it be appropriate? Uh, I think Harold would be rising again in his grave if that happened. We shall see. Volunteers are required. Okay, here we are on the second field we're looking at. It's a pretty big field. Now we've actually marked out quite a few of the stakes ready for the survey. Um, I didn't realise how big it was. It's a very top field overlooking the whole of the site. Uh, problem with telegraph, with the um, pylons. Everybody says magnetometry surveys with next to pylons really difficult. Well, if you don't try, you don't get. Uh, here you can see the the view from this top field. And you might just be able to see it's from. Uh, it was the field where uh, Tony Robinson and his crew made jolly of the fact that uh, um, he'd never heard of uh, the Turkish being involved in the Battle of Hastings done any reading on it. The Turkish mercenaries were employed by William the Conqueror in a number of battles, so so much for his knowledge of history. And this field is a huge field going down 120 metres. Um, and we're standing at the very top here, and our field is really very flat. Two or three people to move the ropes as you move the stuff around the field. What's really interesting I've noticed before is that there is a mound in this field. In that direction, a very, very slight mound on the front edge of the field, overlooking the, overlooking the whole site. And what's interesting is you can see Wilting Farm from here. Somewhere over there in the distance, it's not a very good day today, it's actually windy, don't even know whether you'll be able to hear me. Um, but over there, from this position here, you can see Wilting Farm, and that's where the fires were lit on the night of the battle. So the two sides could see each other. Waste was right. Hmm.